Discord. All right, all right, gang. It is that time. Welcome to Spada. My name is Sarita. Let's jump right in with our warm up. Give you that squat to force up rotation. So we're going to be together for the next 30 minutes. In our Tabata format, 20 on, 10 off for eight total rounds, four minutes per circuit. Get a little break at the end. Give you about 30 seconds at the end to recoup. Take a couple of deep breaths and a sip of water, and we're going to jump back in with each new circuit. Take those arms out wide. Kick that leg up as you cross the body towards the knee. Shin area, maybe even toe. If you're joining us at a later time watching this video, one of the great benefits and features is that you get to hit that pause button if you need to take an extra breather and jump back in when you're ready. But those of you here live, really get to push it because we're not slowing down. Abs are pulled in tight. Lift that leg, control it. Take those feet out wide. Let's shift our weight side to side, lateral lunges. Back is flat, chest is lifted. Push your weight side to side. Today's Tabata workout is going to be mostly cardio. There will be some strength options. So if you have a set of light weights, some water bottles or canned goods, something that you can hold in your hands, that's fairly light, five pounds, maybe eight. I think 10 might be a little too much, but you can grab those. Let's hold it center, lift and lower, little handy stretch. You can grab those weighted options to increase the intensity, but they're not required. Besides our work, time is only 20 seconds at a time. So you don't have a whole lot of time to pick up heavy weights and set them down each time. Let's bring our feet together, reach for those toes, walk it out to plank position. Let's hit some shoulder taps here. So nice strong plank, tuck the pelvis, push the floor away, tap the shoulders. So coming to the front here, just tap and tap. Nice strong core, reach up. You can do this on the knees as well. Just make sure you remember to put down something for your knees. Let's hold that plank, tuck those toes under, lift those hips. Pedal out those heels, little downward dog. And let's walk it back up. Slowly roll up. Last thing to come up is the head. And we'll start to ramp it up here. So give me some butt kickers here. All saving heel raises. Or if you're ready to ramp it up, let's bring those heels up. Little jog. Light on your feet. Breathe. Bringing it back down. High knee march, low impact option. Otherwise, drive it up. Let's go, let's go. So check in with this move because we're gonna start our first circuit and this is gonna be one option. Level one option, level two option. So high knees, level one. Quick preview, level two is a double knee hop. So let's go ahead and bring it down. Grab a sip of water. Let's come on down, grab your mat if you don't have it already. Preview for our first move in the circuit. We'll do it four times. The high knee march or tuck jump, reach for the floor, walk it out, give me a push up. Back in, 
knee, knee, what it looks like in high gear, down. So basically you're doing a burpee, push up at the bottom, so jump at the top. All right. We're doing that four times, this is our first round. So turn it down a little bit and start to gradually increase as we crank up the volume and work our way up. All right, all right, here we go. First round, ready, steady. Let's go, down and up. Down to that push up, stand up, drive those knees. All the way down, all the way up. It's got 10 seconds, let's go. Three, two, one, shake it out. Get ready for round two. Three, two, one, let's go. Again, you can walk it out. Low impact, hop in, knee knee. Three, two, one, and rest for 10. Round three, let's crank it up a little bit. Ready, set, and go. Down and up, 20 seconds. Let's go, let's go. Yes, you can. How many can you get in this round? 10 seconds. Can you get me five? How about six? Three, two, one, maybe you hit eight, nine, rest. So whatever you got, I want you to match it or beat it. Last round. Ready, set, go. Come on, push it, push it. Five seconds, come on. Rest, done with that round. Let's take it down to the floor. We're actually hitting push-ups next. So our next round is a staggered push-up. One hand slightly higher than the other. Give me a push-up, switch the hands, push-up. Let's go, round one. I'm actually gonna put this under my knees. This can be on the knees or on the toes. And rest. Beautiful job. If push-ups bother your wrist, your shoulders, flip over, use your weights, and do a chest press instead. Here we go, round two. So we got our heart rate up with that first move. Now we're doing some strength in the second move, but still in the first circuit. Sit it back and rest. We're doing double duty for our arms and shoulders. That first move had a several push-ups in it as well. And now we're focusing in that same area. Let's go. Come on, gang. Stick with it. This is almost done with our first circuit. Let's rest, take a moment, sit back and breathe. Let's do that one more time. Let's go, knock it out. Push that floor away. Another option to build up more strength, a little bit more advanced and come to your knees. Come down with your toes up, your knees up, come to your knees and then push up. And we are done with circuit number one. Grab some water, 30 seconds is yours. Do with it what you please and come on back for the next one. How's everybody doing out there? You feeling it yet? Awesome, I got some thumbs up. You at home watching it later, I hope you're doing all right. Grab that sip, come on back. 
We're gonna repeat that same format, cardio or high intensity move and a strength move. All right. We are moving on to broad jump. So clear the floor. So level one option, you step up, squat, shuffle it back. Level two, use your arms with the momentum, land in the squat, shuffle it back. So just moving forward and then low, quick feet, bring it back. All right, let's move one, four rounds. Get ready, get steady. Let's go. Jump up, shuffle back. Let's count it out. How many can you do? You can count them in your head or out loud. You're on mute. I want you to create a little competition with yourself. Try to get that same number every time, at least. Maybe you add a couple reps each time. Rest or shake it out. We have got a party on today. I've got you all pulled up on my computer so I can see everybody. All right, round two, let's go. Remember that option, step forward, get low in the squat, back it up. Three, two, one, bring it down, rest for 10 or shake it out. Can you jump a little bit farther? Round three, the answer is yes, let's go. Listen to your body, even if you're stepping, big step forward, as far as your long legs will take you. Three, two, one, rest or shake it out. You've got one more. I love it. A lot of you are still moving. I think everybody's still moving. I love it. Last one, best one. Let's go. Match that rep count or beat it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. All oh, those beautiful. All these athletes on today. Three, two, one, rest or shake. Opportunity to pick up some weights. Low squat position to a lunge. So strength move here, low squat, lunge, holding your weights if you like. All right, gang, here we go. We got four of them. So a couple options with the arms, hold your weights next to your side or hold them up in a curl, 10 seconds, or hold them up overhead if they're light. Three, two, one, feel free to squat pulse for that 10 second rest, or maybe some jumping jacks to get your heart rate up. Whatever you want, 10 seconds is yours. Three, two, one, let's go. Breathe, stay low, just under 10 to go. Three, two, and rest or squat it out. Those weights are heavy today, aren't they? You can work, rack them on your shoulders. All right, round three, here we go. Get low, get low. I know it's only 20 seconds, but I want you to slow this one down. Even if you only get one rep per leg, slow it down. Three, two, one, and rest. Last one, or pulse. I see some of you pulsing. Beautiful. Last one. Let's go, knock it out. Come on. 10 seconds. Oh, I see some overhead. Beautiful, I see curls. I'm loving this. This is a great group. Three, two, and done. Here's that 30 second breather. Grab a sip. If 30 seconds is too long for you, do some jumping jacks. We're moving on. We're coming back to upper body. Bring your dumbbells back with you if you have them. So we're going back to some more burpees. 
However, this time we're going to stand up and do a row. So at the top, we're going to pull up into a row. Even if you don't have any weights, pull those arms up. Jump out, jump in, stand up, hinge position, and row. Walk it or hop it. All right, that's where we are for that first move for four rounds. We're going in about five seconds here. Take one more deep breath. And let's go. Make sure you're in that hinge position. Your hips are back. Your back is flat. Get those feet all the way out there in that long plank position. Three, two, one. You can either do some jumping jacks or maybe hold the plank while you rest. Active recovery. I'll hit this next round without weights. Just so you see how effective it can still be. Maybe since you're not holding weights, you can jump up as well. A little froggy hop. Three, two, and rest. Or again, plank, jumping jacks, any of those things work. Round three, here we go. Tuck that tummy in tight. Pop those feet in, squeeze the abs. Pull your body up, pull those elbows back. And rest or active rest. Get ready to get steady for that last one. Let's go, knock it out. It's okay to take that actual rest. That's what it's there for. Give you a moment to breathe. So that you can re regain some of that energy that you've expended and rest or active rest. We're coming into reverse fly for the single leg deadlift. Lean over, one leg floats. We come up into a fly. Let's go. So grab those cans, grab those bottles, or just squeeze your shoulder blades together if you're without weights. That back toe can either touch the floor or float. And rest or shake it out. With light weights, you can do some overhead movement here. Get ready for the other leg. Let's go. Flat back, lean it over. Open up that chest. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. This is why I mentioned light weights for this circuit. In the beginning, light weights or cans or something, just so we can work those smaller muscle groups and rest. Hit a little push press in here. Three, two, back to that first leg. Let's go. So this move is just targeting the shoulders, the rear delts. We're just adding a balance challenge by lifting that leg up. You're not going to feel much in that leg. That's okay. The focus is the shoulders. Rest or active recovery. Other leg in three, two, one, here we go. Last set before that water break. Someone told me that 30 seconds was too much. So this next water break, I want everybody to give me five burpees. Three, two, put those weights down, five burpees right here. You need to blame someone, blame Eric. Aha, hit your five, grab a sip, and come on back. We're almost done, gang. We've got one circuit left. Woo, beautiful job, everybody. It's a party. I see all these folks on. Happy, happy Wednesday. Thanks for joining. Let's come on back and we're actually going to come down to the floor, back into that plank position, that lovely plank. 
So get the heart rate up a bit. I'm gonna do a plank jack with a tuck. So feet hop out together and then hop in like a bottom half of a burpee, back out. Nice and light on those toes, pushing through and those shoulders. If you have a shoulder or wrist injury, stand up and do some jumping jacks. I'll show you a standing option. Do a jumping jack with a jump. Draw the knees up. So choose either one of those that works best for you. All right, you all look ready to go. Let's set it up. Ready, set, and begin. This is our last circuit, gang. Push through. Point jacks. Or do that standing option. Either one works. 10 seconds. Here's three, two, one. You can hit some mountain climbers or stand up and run it out. If you want to give the shoulders a break. That's a lot for the shoulders to stay down the entire time. So consider taking a rest. All right, round two, here we go. 10 seconds, flies by, nice and quick. Let's go, let's go. Abs are in tight. Come on, light on those feet. Active rest, 10 seconds. Two down, two to go. Here's three, two, one, let's go. Halfway, halfway. Here's three, two, one, active rest. I'll hold that plank this time through. We've got one last set. Three, two, one, let's go. Shoulders are right over those wrists. Take your time with those hops. 10 seconds. And rest or active rest. Move two. I'm gonna put down one weight. It's a combo strength and cardio move. Press up with a jump. Hop it back in, bring the arms down. So a little shoulder press. Low impact option, just do shoulder presses. That works too. Here we go. Last move, gang. Push it out. If you want a little bit more, come into a squat and explode up. Three, two, and active rest. Check it out or bring it down. Three, two, one, let's go. Some of you who want to tone the legs, maybe you like that squat option. Or if you focus on the shoulders, focus on that press. Three, two, one, active rest, or shake it out. We are almost there. Woo. Three, two, let's go. This third round, I'm just gonna focus on the press. This is your workout. Change it up how you see fit. Tailor it to your specifications. Woo. Take it at your own pace. Three, two, one, bring it down, active rest. This is your last active rest. Last but not least, here we go. Give me 10 more seconds of this. Come on. Last five. Give me five burpees, and then you're done. Five burpees. Come on, down up, down up. Come on, warriors. Wednesday warrior crew, let's go. As soon as you're done with your five, 
grab a sip of water, come on down to the floor for some low impact pull down abs, and we'll call it a day. Looks like everybody's done. We're gonna start with some in out crunches. So hands on the floor if you need some support or float the hands. Walk those legs a little bit further away from you. In and out, lean yourself back, drive in with one knee or float the legs, drive both knees in at the same time. Whew, that's tough after a full workout. All right, gang, here we go, in out crunches. 30 seconds. Slow things down here. As you're cooling down, bringing our heart rate down. Yes, beautiful. Brace those abs tight. Pull that foot away as if you're Pulling it out of some thick mud or cement. And rest, let's lay it down. Lift the hips, bridge position. We're just gonna march the legs. Drive one knee up, little pause, bring it down. Knee up, pause, and down. Make sure you lift those hips again every rep. Pause, lift the hips. Little freeze and squeeze there. Breathe. Finish up the last rep on each leg. Bring that back back down to the floor. Lift your knees up off the floor. Bring your legs at an angle. We're gonna do a bicycle crunch, pushing our heels up toward the ceiling. Ready, set, and go. Twist, twist, slow and controlled. Bring that opposite shoulder across the body. This is your last bit of work. Take it all the way home here. Three, two, one. Let's hug those knees in. Awesome, awesome job. We'll do a quick stretch. However, please continue with some flexibility training this evening, whether it be right after this workout or just before bed. Do some more stretching. It's an optimal time to stretch right after your workout where your muscles are more pliable. Let's wrap ourselves up to a seat. Extend those legs and reach down for those toes. This is about the only time I can touch my toes. That means I really got a good workout and my muscles are loose. My legs are straight and I'm touching my toes. Somebody mark this down in the, in the diary or journal or something. Woo. Gently we'll walk it back up. Let's get into those final rotations. Take one foot across, opposite arm, hug it in. Let's twist and look over that shoulder. Take one more deep breath in. On an exhale, let's unwind and switch sides. Hug it in and twist. This is a quick, a few quick reminders while you're here. Maintain don't, or excuse me, how they hold down participants. Make sure you complete your way out this week. Email your results to your coach. And then for New Year New You, make sure you're tracking your a challenge for the week in your Google Docs spreadsheet. You want to see how you're doing. Gently release, unwind, shake it out. 
Let's take a nice deep breath for the road. Nice deep cleansing breath. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, float it down. Awesome, awesome job, everybody. Thank you so much for joining. Again, my name is Sarita. So if you join me live or watching this from home, you did a great job. Thank you so much for joining. Try this workout again and push yourselves a little bit more now that you know what to do, what to expect. You can challenge yourself even more if you repeat this workout. So awesome job. We will see you again next time. Take care, everybody.